Good morning, my friends. Today is August 9th, day number 16, devotional. Uh, we're halfway there, halfway there this challenge, and uh, I want to encourage you guys to keep going strong. The title is Holy Anger. The, um, the verse is Mark chapter 1, 40 and 41. It says, uh, once he was approached by a leper, he knew or he felt before him begging his help. If only you will, said the man, you can cleanse me. In warm and indignation, Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him. Uh, yeah, read this story. Uh, I've been reading the book of Mark. Um, all right, the devotional is, I was in an emergency room late one night last week. Victims of Satan filled the halls. A child... Puffy, swollen eyes, beaten by her father. A woman, bruised cheeks, bloody nose. My boyfriend got drunk and hit me, she said, weeping. An old man, conscious and drunk on a stretcher. He drooled blood in his sleep. Jesus saw the victims of Satan, too. He saw a leper one day, fingers gnarled, skin ulcerated, face disfigured. And he got indignant, angry, not a selfish, violent anger. Holy anger, a controlled frustration. A compassionate disgust, and it moved him. It moved him to action. I'm convinced that the same Satan stalks today, causing the hunger and in, in, uh, in the world, the confusion in the mid in the me mid East, the e egotism on uh, on the movie screen, the apathy in Christ's church, and Satan giggles among the dying. Dear Father, may we never grow so holy. May we never be so mature. May we never become so religious that we can see the footprint, footprint, footprints of Satan and stay calm. Yes, I mean, I told you guys, we live in a sinful world that um, Satan is here. You know, he's, 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 he's attacking uh, God's children and because he knows he can't defeat God, so he goes after his children. That's where, you know... Uh, that's that that's where he can cause a lot of uh, uh, what is it uh, cause a lot of uh, uh, sadness to God because obviously God gets sad whenever he sees his children go through things um, but you know that's why we're here to pray for our for our friends we're here to pray for our family we're here to pray for the the needy and and help the needy and and always be there for them and that's encouraging words because you know the book of mark in the, the whole book of mark at the, at, the, at the beginning it's all about jesus uh and and miracles that he's performing because he's seeing how crazy the world was i mean ev everybody was going through something and and it amazes me how those people came to Jesus and, and already had faith. They already knew they were going to be healed before they even got there. And they would always tell Jesus, if you say, or if you touch me, or if you say, or if you uh, do this, do that, I'll be healed. And that's the kind of faith that we need to have uh, with our brothers and sisters as well. So today, remember that everybody's going through something. I'll help them out. Show Jesus. And, uh, you know, that's, that's something Jesus would do. So keep that in mind today. We'll see you guys tomorrow.